shit yourself? <laughs> on right, as as it was counting down. Welcome back to Chaotic Clean Talk on episode one thirty six. Um, Leighton shit himself right before he came on. He was getting a glass of water from Antarctica, apparently. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, he, he was naked right before this as well. So any mm-hmm. any girls that just listen to the show just for Leighton, our, our large female audience, um, you you missed out. You missed out. Um, first off, I want to start with a solemn note, RIP to Mr. Carl Weathers. Dang. Yeah, because he's in Arrested Development, and I saw that, and I'm like, dang, he's a G. He was, he was, known, he was known for knowing how to make a real good stew, you know? <laughs> real good stew. Mm. Um, and helping so Tobias. To for- he uh, basically stole fourteen or $1,100 from Tobias. We actually, we watched the episode last night just in honor of Carl. Because that made me sad. I know. It did. Uh, but RIP to Carl. He's he's a G. He's a, he's a He was a real guy. Apollo Creed. Um, Michael Scott trusts Apollo Creed more than Pam Beasley trusts her own father. So um, mm-hmm. clearly Apollo Creed is good guy. Good guy. Um, so RIP to Carl. You want to jump on the wheel, Leighton? We don't, we're not going to touch on how Baker Mayfield won a... Well, we'll see if it lands like, on Leighton's Super easy pick, then passing we will. contest. If it was so easy, then why didn't, you know, the other quarterbacks win it? Because, oh, Tate McRae at the NHL All-Star Game. I just I just wanted a chance to talk about Tate McRae, the, the newest it girl in Hollywood. If I was on, I, I don't even play hockey, but if, if she said, hey, we need we need somebody to play, I'd be playing hockey. I would I would have been an NHL All-Star at that point. Um mm-hmm. And I guess we can use that to also lead into the Pro Bowl. Um, not the Pro Bowl games. Uh, the Pro Bowl sucks. The Pro Bowl does suck. It sucks now. It's really bad. Um, how many playoff games did the Colts lose this year? Uh, zero? Zero? The Colts have lost zero yeah, playoff games? How many regular season games did the Colts lose? Uh, actually, the same amount as the Buccaneers. So, And the Colts also lost zero playoff games. Um the Buccaneers have lost one playoff game. You're so co. The Philadelphia Bucks Eagles are literally the Bucks were literally the Philadelphia top Eagles eight, literally did not win a playoff year. game. The Bucks just won a playoff game by default because the Eagles are so trash and depressing. Nah, and Colts would have lost that game. Um, the Ravens. How many playoff games did they lose? They lost one. It's so the Bucks are better than Bucks are as good as the Ravens. So Leighton, you have no teams right now, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm a I'm a 49ers fan now. Oh brother! Oh my God, <laughs> Anna Fry, you're an Anna Fry fan. I don't know who that is. You don't know the Anna name Fry? sounds familiar. It's just oh. this high school girl that looks exactly like Brock Purdy. Okay. Yeah, that's it. It's it's yeah. really not that big of a deal, but for some reason TikTok loves her. <clears throat> um, yeah, uh, Tate Mc, but uh, Tate McRae. That, that, that wasn't supposed to be a long segment on anything, but I just wanted to mention Tate McRae, uh, bonk, mm-hmm. bonk to bonk to the NHL for having her as a captain. I'm going to say that bonk to them <laughs> because they know, they knew what they were doing. Like they, they knew, they know what's going on. Um, oh yeah. Check out, uh, I forgot. I guess I'll mention this. Um, check out the first trailer for, um, chaotic Queen town table tennis league. That's dropping Sunday night. So, Whoa. as you're listening to this, it dropped yesterday. Very exciting. Okay, let's give her another spin. Did you just assume the wheel's gender? I said, let's give this a spin. Oh, it's stuck! Name a woman. Wait, name a woman. Leighton, name a woman. Um, Helen Keller. It has to be real women, not fictional. <laughs> She's a real woman? <laughs> fake. No, she's fake. Are you being serious? No. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, if homie doesn't... Homie thinks Helen Keller was a made-up person. I, I think it was... I think it might have been a little... Fabricated. She was a CIA special ops. She, she could have been. Undercover. <laughs> I mean, how do you how do you write a book? How do you write a book? You can't hear, you can't see, you can't talk. What, <laughs> what are you well, supposed can to write. Do? She was a teacher too, which I find that um, incredible. Where there's a will, there's a way, you know. 
again, I don't listen. All respect to Helen Keller. All respect <laughs> to Helen Keller. That must have been a very difficult life. But if it was my kid, and I was told, "Hey, your teacher is blind, and she's deaf, and she's mute," I don't know if I would want my kid to to learn from Helen Keller. I think that's a fair statement. Yeah, I don't fight. That. I think I would say, "Hey, I get it." I need to sit on in a sit in on a few classes. I would at least like to see what's going on in this class because <laughs> you got to live stream the classroom. How am I supposed to know my kid is learning anything? <laughs> mm-hmm. Like how, how am I supposed to know what Helen Keller knows? Can we get some sign language in the chat? <laughs> sign language doesn't work. She can't see the signs. She can't see the, yeah. the fingers moving. I did hear about teaching your infant sign language so that they can oh, communicate before, yeah. um, they're able to talk. Have you ever seen Meet Meet the Fockers? No. It's a Ben Stiller movie with Robert De Niro. It's a sequel to Meet the Parents, where Ben Stiller meets Robert De Niro because he wants to marry his daughter. And Robert mm-hmm. De Niro is like a former CIA operative, and he's just super paranoid about everything. Um, mm-hmm. And then in the second movie, they go and meet Ben Stiller's parents, and they bring the... I want to say they bring like the grandson and the kid, they like taught the kid sign language so he can tell them what he wants. And then Ben Stiller teaches him a cuss word as his first word. Good for him. Asshole is his first word in the movie. Yeah. Nice. Apparently I also understood Polish. No, not Polish. Maybe it was Polish. No, Icelandic. I understood Icelandic when I was a baby. That's what my mom tells me. <laughs> Which I think is a crock of shit. <laughs> yeah, you know, I actually... First time I picked up a golf club, I was three years old and I shot 30 under par. <laughs> At least that's what my mom tells me. Moms are always right, right? Mm-hmm. Why would she lie about that? I know, right? <laughs> there is actually no reason to lie about that. <laughs> I mean, maybe she was trying, maybe your mom was trying to, uh, I don't know, encourage you to play more golf. Maybe that's, maybe more that's more why golf. I was, maybe that's why I'm friends with you. Cause your mom is paying me to encourage you to play more golf. Well, she would, I think she would pay someone better at golf. I don't know that there's a lot of people that are better at golf than me. Um, actually, I haven't named a woman. I haven't named a woman. Um, Dakota Johnson. She's in the new Miss... I don't know. It's Miss Spider-Man something. I don't know. But uh, Dakota Johnson and Sydney Sweeney, Sweeney are in the movie at the same time. And Sydney Sweeney's wearing a latex. They're literally using Sydney Sweeney in a latex suit as the advertising. Like, that is the... Bonk. That's the push. I'm I'm bonking Sony. Sony is horny. Major horny bonk to Sony right there for for just marketing. I mean, let's work for the research. I'm going to make I'm going to look up I'm going to look this up so that the listeners know to not look up Sydney Sweeney in a in a spandex suit. I'm going to help them avoid the places that you can find this, okay? Cuz it's disgusting, it's demeaning, it's horrible. Let's let's give it a search. What is homeboy? What is the mayor of Yaffersville going on about right now? They asked me why I think I'm making say it's ten looks six zeros. This part is definitely fake. That is definitely not real. Hold on. This is all not real. Yeah. Maybe I got duped. But I'll say this. The uh the costumes in that movie look horrible. They look so bad. It's Madam Web is the title of the movie. Madam Web. So is it again, like a, is it its own thing or is it like based on a sequel of a current movie? I think it's in the same universe as Venom. The Venom movies. And somehow I think they made three of those as well. Or they're making uh-huh. a third one. I don't know how, but yeah. Uh, giant freaking robot is, is this, uh, 
here. I'll, I'll share my screen just just so the people can know to stay away from from this. Completely stay away from this. This is gross, disgusting. Here we go. Um, yeah. So this is from the Spider-Man thing or a different? I don't thing? know if this is real. I, I think this is fake. I think this photo is fake. Or I don't know if I can share my other one. No, I can't. I think this is a fake photo. Dang. I don't even know what this is. I don't know who that is. That's not... That's Sydney Sweeney in Euphoria? That does not look like her at all. I mean, from the... From the, you know, neck down, it looks like her. But from the face, it doesn't look like her at all. <laughs> Bruh, what is homeboy yapping about? Bonk, bonk, bonk. <laughs> I'm not... I'm, I'm calling... I'm calling Disney out on their bonk. This is a this is a Disney bonk. Completely Disney. Bonk. You know what? It's a Sydney Sweeney bonk. Just start hitting her with a bat. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't. Nobody do that, please. <laughs> Spin, spinning it again. Not. I guess Layton doesn't want it to be called horror. Spoy, sporkle, sporkle. Spoy good. Spoykle. You know, last week when I did the show, I tried to search Sporkle into Sporkle. Dang. Because I forgot I wasn't on Google for a second. Let's see. What do we want to do here, Layton? We could do, like, Super Bowl history. Yeah, we could do that. Unless you think that's a lame idea. Do we can do two. We'll do two Sporkles. We'll do a Super Bowl one. Um... Because I guess the Super Bowl is happening in a week from today, or six days from when this is released. Oh boy, this is gonna be tough. Dang. Okay, I know, I know one. Going. I know one. <laughs> you only know one. Your team is no, one like two. number one, number one. Oh, oh, oh. No, Ooh. I think we're gonna do something different. Uh, is that a rage quit? Yes. NFL last Super Bowl winners, NFL teams in order of their last Super Bowl win, Super Bowl winning quarterbacks by picture. Let's do, I say, let's just do Super Bowl title droughts. Play, Play quiz. All right, so the Lions, obviously. Uh, the Browns. The, that's crazy. The Look Houston at all the teams Texans. That won. Texans. Jaguars. I didn't think there was that many teams that hadn't won. There's looks like there's a good amount. Oh, oh, it has to be over twenty five years, technically. Um, Titans. Oh, they've never won, ha! Huh? Titans, Titans, no ring. Actually, the entire AFC South I clearly feel like has, the, except for the Colts. Cowboys got to be because wasn't their last win in like the nineties? I think it was ninety five. Yeah, so they'd be on here. Yep. Um, oh, the 49ers, actually. 29 seasons. Now Seattle's 1-1. One, one. What Arizona? about the Bengals? Wait. Yeah, the Cardinals never won. Yeah. Uh, Bengals. Let's see. What's another expansion team? Um... When was the Steelers' last Super Bowl? Uh, Wait, that wasn't. Yeah, that wasn't that long ago. Big Ben had won one. Yeah, it was in the 2000s. What about the Dolphins? It's been a long time since they won. Yep, seventy four. The Jets, nineteen sixty nine. <laughs> they beat the Colts that year. Green uh, Bay, haven't they not won in a long time? No, they won. They won one. Rogers won one. With them. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they he beat. I think it was his second season, and then he's just choked every year after that. No, they. Oh, maybe they. Let me see. Yeah, because they had. Oh, we ran out one. of time. Fucker. Dang. We're redoing that. Fuck that. Oh, but well, we already know. Oh the yeah, the Falcons, Bills. Yeah. They had uh, NFL last Super Bowl winners. We'll do this one. Oh, shit. 2023. Who won last year? Oh, uh, shit. Chiefs. 2022 Rams? 2021. Buccaneers, right? Or was it 2020? No, that's no, it 2020. Was 21. 
Wait. That was a no. That was a twenty twenty season though. Unless maybe. Yeah. They... So it'd be. Bucks. Oh yeah. Had... Yeah. So they're counting that. That's weird. Okay. The other one, Chiefs. Wait, twenty nineteen. Oh, Patriots. Twenty eighteen, Eagles. Twenty sixteen. Ooh, Broncos. Yep. Um, Seahawks. Yep. Dude, I feel like so dumb Ravens. right now. I f- <laughs> now I'm in my bag. I'm in my fucking bag. Uh, Giants. Uh, Giants. Hold on. 2010 Super Bowl. Packers. There we go. Uh... Who was that? Uh, Saints. 2008 was Steelers. 2007, Colts. Jesus, 96. Um, Broncos. No? No? Who won in 96? I gotta think. Oh, that was the Cowboys. Yes. 49ers. 92 was the giant no not the giants 92 was the oh are none of oh these repeating God. huh oh this is none none of them are repeating got it um they beat the bills they beat the bills in 92 uh redskins yes whoa Manders. i'm goaded <laughs> 1986 was the not the rams was it no, because no, the, the Rams won 22. Actually, where are the Rams? The Rams should be in here. Yeah, they are. 2022. <laughs> oh, oh, I was... I kept thinking back to the St. Louis Rams in the early 2000s. Shit, we're not going to finish this. Is um, this... Wait, is this the Raiders? 1986? I, I don't think so. Well, I know the next one. Hey, we're way above average. Oh, the Bears. I know. Oh, Raiders were next. Raiders, yeah. The Bears were eighty six. I should have. Well, and I hate that they do the Super Bowl year because I always think of it as the season. I would yeah. have known the nineteen eighty five Bears. I would have known that easy. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the game. Vikings, because I know the last one was the Jets. Twenty four to seven over the Vikings. I can't remember. Damn. All right, let's do another one, and then we'll move on to the to the next topic. You want to do a movie one? Yeah, that works. Order the Pixar movies. Ooh, let's do... I wonder if we can do an Arrested Development one. Whoa. Oh, yeah, Daniel Larson got arrested and is in jail, by the way. He has a $20,000 bail. Dang. <laughs> And uh, World of T-Shirts also got arrested. Arrested Development Opening. Arrested Development Tough Trivia. Arrested Development Characters. Follow that line. Let's do follow that line. Or that seems like I'm going to have to type it. I don't want to type it. Let's just do quote. All right. First one. Missing word. I'm half machine. I'm a monster. Monster. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, I've just been in the film business for a while. But I just can't seem to get one in the keister. I would think but, but that doesn't make sense. Because it's got to be something sexual. Like, oh yeah, I think it has to do with ass. It has to be something, another form of ass. Let's skip it, because we have five minutes on this. Mm -hmm. Um, But we do not, not wag our blank at one another to make a point. From George Sr., this is hard. I thought this was like a match, a matching thing. Yeah. Well, I know the next one is suit with Job. Oh yeah, <laughs> with a with a five thousand dollar suit. Come on. <laughs> Lindsay, are you forgetting that I was the professional twice? Well, first, over. and now rippest. <laughs> <laughs> the ocean blank. Holy crap! That's gonna look good on a hat. Oh, I just watched this one. 
Because it's uh, she's that's when she was working for the movie place. Mm hmm. I can't remember. I don't know the next two. Yeah. I know what an erection feels like, Michael. No, it's the opposite. It's like my heart is getting smaller. It's like my heart is getting. That's tough. Can't do that. Don't leave your uncle blank hanging. That's from Tobias. I thought it would have been from from George's twin brother, Uncle Father. No, so he's talking to George Michael. Yeah. Don't leave your uncle. I don't know. You must teach me, George Michael. You must teach me the ways of the blank flesh from Anne. This is all too much. This is too hard. We got to do a different one. Mm -hmm. We're rage quitting. We're rage quitting. These aren't even like notable quotes. Yeah. They're just lines. Mm. Rest of development character blitz. Let's try this. Oh, this one's easy. Well, we'll cook. We'll cook in this. Mm-hmm. Bob blah blah. Where is he? There he is. Maybe mm -hmm. Funke. Where's maybe? Lindsay. Oscar. Where is Oscar? There. Michael. Yeah, Tobias. No one on here that I don't know. I know. This one's too easy. George Bluth, Lucille, <laughs> George Michael. Just about finding them. Like, how can you fail this? Gene Parmesan. Franklin Delano Bluth. Oh, Franklin, this one. Steve Holt. Steve Holt. Dang, imagine not getting 100%. I know. It said the average was 80. How can yeah. it be 80? Without lessons. We'll try lessons. What is this? I don't understand this. Wait, that's why you don't pit Job and Michael against each other. But where am I? Yeah, where's the photo? I don't know what this... This thing is not right. Oh, this one looks like what we want. Maybe not. Never nude. David Cross. Mr. Manager. Mm -hmm. This is not good either. These all suck. Who said it? This has to be it. Too many lives have been ruined by some cheap waitress at a hojo who said she used an IUD. Who said that? I would guess Job. Sounds like a Job. It's as Anne as the nose on Plain's face. That's my. That's got to be him. There we go. I don't understand the question, and I won't respond to it. Oh, I think that's her. Yes. I'm looking for something that says Dad likes leather. Oh, because that's got to be Tobias, but Job also goes to the Gothic Castle. That one episode. <laughs> I don't think Tobias would call him dad. I would I would think, yeah, Tobias would say daddy. But I think it might be <laughs> Tobias, to be honest. I could be wrong. Oh, okay. you're so goaded. Okay, it was for me. Yeah, I was going to smoke the marijuana like a cigarette. I think that's Buster from when he tried mm -hmm. to get uh, George Michael. Yeah. No, it was... Bro. Oh, do you guys know where I can get one of those gold necklaces with a T on it? I think that's maybe. Yeah. Army had half a day. Of course it's Buster. How could it not? I hate the wetlands. They're stupid and wet, and there are bugs everywhere. I think I maced a crane. And this. Dang, we got a little below average. That sucks. Dang. Okay. I think that's enough sporkle for today. Let me just... <laughs> All right. How many times did we spawn? Four. Okay. Okay. Theo Epstein to Boston. I'll give it. I'll give it to this. Um, this is not a latent, latent topic, but I Correct. figured I should touch on it, and then we'll spin again. Um, Theo Epstein is returning to Boston. This is this is big news for Red Sox fans because is that Jeffrey uh, Epstein's son? No, he's not. He's actually <laughs> the goat. He he literally has the Midas touch. Anything he touches turns to gold. Um, he won the Cubs the World Series, so. He's the GOAT. I mean, he's he's by, he's in the ownership group now, but he's only worth $30 million, so can't imagine he owned that much of the ownership group. But they want him They want him there, They want him, which is good. They want him to run the team and be an advisor. So uh, mm -hmm. that better mean 10 World Series titles in the next 20 years. 
I'm just saying. Ten titles in the next twenty years. Like no no doubt. Uh it's happening. I'm I'm already on the train that, that Theo's gonna turn Boston back into what it's been for the last twenty years. So yeah, well, your the football Sox, like, team's not win. gonna win anything, so my football well. team? Your football team's not gonna win anything, so I guess um, you gotta switch sports. AJ Brown is coming to Indianapolis. Jason Kelsey is gonna be the offensive line coach. Um Legarius Sneed is gonna come to Indianapolis, be our uh, be like our anchor safety guy. Um Jonathan Taylor is gonna rush for two thousand yards next year. Um Anthony Richardson is gonna throw for seven thousand yards. Uh <laughs> Okay. The Colts are going to go undefeated next year and win the Super Bowl. Um and then they're also going to win the Pro Bowl. Like the, the the entire team is going to be selected to the Pro Bowl, and then they're going to play. Exciting things for Indianapolis. It's over for the NFL next year. It's just it's over. Uh, as long as we just keep Richardson healthy. Today today is weird. Today is also the first day without the NFL in a long time. Which I didn't know what to do with myself today. I just kind of laid in bed all day uh, mm-hmm. for the first half of the day and just was sad no football but I, I wish they still did the pro i wish they did the pro bowl after the super bowl because that's how they used to do it and then you could get all the guys even from the super bowl to play and then we could actually play a real football game instead of some chicken shit little flag football game although now that the olympics is going to have flag football in 2028 maybe it is useful to have flag footballs in the pro bowl now i feel like Flag football in the Olympics will be very anticlimactic because I feel like because they're the literally just going to get gonna destroy everyone. Well, maybe, but I would think that because they're all professionals, you know, they run for two yards and then their flags pulled. Okay, you know, run it back, and I don't know, like they're not hitting each other, so they're just you know grabbing flags. See, if it was, I would say if it was tackle football. I would be very wary of like the rugby players because they're I would say they're tougher than than like American football players because they're doing the exact same thing except just without pads. So I would definitely be afraid of that, but that it, now that it's flag like our guys like can you can you imagine a fucking school teacher from Kenya is going to try and cover Tyreek Hill? <laughs> like he that's just not happening well, Tyreek Hill. Actually <laughs> What do you mean, actually? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't know. You know, you, they might be faster than we expect. They're not covering Tyreek Hill. <laughs> like, a speed speed can happen anywhere. Anyone can you, have speed. You say Bolt plays corner for Jamaica? Uh, his ass, his ass, <laughs> he, he doesn't have agility. He can go straight. He can't, mm-hmm. he doesn't know how to cover anyone. Yeah, he he's not know how to He's, he'll, he'll get lit up. Like, somebody will accidentally hit him and he'll break into a million pieces. Mm. All right, one more spin and then we're done. Yeah. Usain Bolt, wide receiver. <clears throat> Again, he, he would he would literally only run fly routes. Like, literally. That's, that's all he would do. He would just run deep balls every just time. Just 80 yard touchdown over and over for Jamaica. Super Bowl. Super Bowl time. Um, we all know Leighton is a diehard 49ers fan. He's always been that his entire mm-hmm. life. Yep. Uh, he's He's been on the Brock Purdy is actually going to be the next GOAT train. He is yep. supported that Christian McCaffrey is the greatest running back in NFL history. Um, <laughs> and uh, Brandon Ayuk got snubbed from the Pro Bowl as well. Um, he didn't even get voted in. So, Leighton, what are you looking for from your 49ers this week? So, my 49ers, uh, my ride or die, I am expecting... Yeah, you've never, you've never <laughs> went away from them. Mm-hmm. You know, back growing up when I would watch Joe Montana play, I just knew right then. I'm like, this is a special team. Really more Alex Smith. <laughs> you would have been watching Alex Smith play. Your number but, one pick. Yeah, I'm expecting a a big dub from the 49ers. You know, I'm tired of 
Mahomes and you know the media having him all up in my face. I've been seeing all your um, analysis on why Taylor Swift is good for the NFL, which I do agree with the whole like. Now, there's a couple of daughters out there who are saying, hey, Dad, can I watch football with you or whatever? I absolutely love that. My whole thing is, I feel like even when Tom Brady was dominant or whatever, I didn't know Tom Brady was playing until Super Bowl Sunday because he would just be there. But, like, Mahomes, oh, my goodness. It's as if the, the Chiefs are the only team in the NFL. It's crazy. That was a very Mahomey bat. Like, oh my, I'm just so done with it. And it's like, I think Brock Purdy has an even more impressive come up story. So if he surpasses Patrick Mahomes, I'm all for it. I'd rather have him be the face of the NFL. Yeah, I think a lot of people's problem with Taylor Swift isn't actually with Taylor Swift. Like, it's it's yeah. with the media. Like, that's what it should be because she's not she's not how out here like seeking. She's not like, hey, show the camera to me. She's just, I don't know, she's just existing. And they're, mm -hmm. and they're like constantly giving her shit just for existing. Like ESPN historically is horrible at, at developing stories. Like the last 10 years, it's, it's what did LeBron eat for breakfast? Like that's, that's like their first story in the morning. Like Le Pookie Bear had an egg omelet with his, with his son, Bronny and and his son is gonna be playing with LeBron for the next ten years mm -hmm. in in LA. Like that's that's what that's what ESPN does, and all the sports media cycles don't want to cover anything else because they know it gets clicks no matter what. Like it's gonna get a click. Mm -hmm. Like when we wrote the story about Taylor Swift, our website had like double the traffic than it did. So based. I'm not even kidding. Like the <laughs> when our guy when our guy Dan Campbell wrote that article it just completely it would double i was like all right well it looks like we got to cover a little bit more taylor swift now because <laughs> what how can you deny it? like you just if if people don't want to see more taylor swift stop watching that's why like tv shows go off the air all the time because nobody watches them it's it's pretty simple you would think but people just have to comment i hate taylor swift on every single one and it's like you're doing the exact opposite and they don't care they don't give a shit so um, what's your score prediction for the Super Bowl? That's interesting. I think it's going to be a bit of a high-scoring game. And I think it's going to be a lot closer than I would like, obviously. I'm going to go, I'm going to go something weird like 34 to 30 49ers. 34, like 40. <laughs> 40 to 34? No, 34 to 30. Oh, 34, 30. I don't know how you would get to 34, but or even 30, but they'll find a way. Let me think. Let me think about this. Well, actually, I mean, it's it's four touchdowns and two field goals. That's how you get to 34. Mm -hmm. So, um, 30 is a bunch of field goals. <laughs> <laughs> Ten or somebody goals. misses an extra point. Um, I'm not doing the math right now. Uh, coin toss. What What do you think the coin toss is going to be? I don't even know what it means in general. Heads, like heads or tails. I'll do heads. And who do you think is going to win it? Win the coin toss? Uh, Chiefs. Chiefs are plus one hundred. Uh, Gatorade color. What Gatorade color? What is it normally? I feel like these teams have a preference already. You have purple, orange, red, yellow, green, blue, or clear. I'm going to go with blue. That's plus 350. Clear is plus 1,000. No Gatorade bath is plus 1,600. I'll say orange. I feel like orange. That's what I'm doing right now, at least. Mm -hmm. um, the jersey number of the first touchdown scorer, over 22.5 or under 22.5? I feel like you just have to look up who the most likely players would be. Well, what's Christian McCaffrey's? 23. Then I'll take the over. I'm going to take the under. I think it's going to be Pacheco, who's number 10. Isaiah Pacheco. I think KC is going to go right down there and just score quickly. 
I think it's going to be Brock Purdy. He actually runs for an 80-yard touchdown first play of the game. What number is he? (laughs) I think he's like six or something really low. 13. 13. Um, That's Taylor Swift's favorite. I don't know. Uh, I'll go under this time. Okay. Um, Will there be a Scorigami? No. Scorigami's overrated. It's happening too much now. It's it's, – the – the the inflation has hit score the scorigami. That's what's happened. The scorigami now has been affected by inflation. Um, I love seeing the <laughs> thing fill up. Huh? I love seeing the scorigami fill up. Like that seventy twenty was like, dang, we really got one of those really far out there ones. <laughs> well, that's fun. No, but like when there's a scorigami and it's like in the in the normal scores, like mm-hmm. like twenty nine to. Like nineteen or something like that. Like that's not special to me. That doesn't. Well, that yeah. doesn't get my juices going. Like I want. I if a team ever manages to get the one point play, they need to end the game right there. They just win. They they win. Yeah, because they should win the, the Super Bowl. We need a team to just have one point at the end of a game. They if you if you get actually get the one point, you should win the Super Bowl. No matter like if you're zero and sixteen. Mm-hmm. At that time, like, or you're Owen, the yeah, you're Owen 16, are just week 18. Trying to bait teams and do it. And, and the fucking, who, who's really bad? I mean, who's like the Cardinals? Like, the Cardinals get the one point safety on the last play of the game, just trying mm-hmm. to win their final game of the year. And some, and then they win the Super Bowl. Then the NFL cancels the mm-hmm. playoffs. They say, we're done. <laughs> it's over. We did everything we need to do for this season. It's done. Mm-hmm. Um, wow, this one is really hard. Combined touchdown score. Of the jersey numbers, so over 121 and a half. So if you come, if you take all the touchdown scores and combine their jersey numbers, would it be over or under 21 and a half? I feel like that's mm. really high. I would take the. I think that is very high as well. But if like one that feels well, Travis Kelsey, if he gets a touchdown, that's 87. That's true. I'd take the over then, just based off of tight ends being in the 80s. Yeah. Because George Kittle and Travis Kelsey, one of them's got to score a touchdown. That's true. Yeah, that I, I think – I feel like there's going to be a lot of running back scoring, though. But I guess if you think about it, like if Pacheco and McCaffrey each get one, then you're right there. Literally, like you're, you're it takes one tight end and, you know, two Christian McCaffrey touchdowns. And you're over. Yeah, I guess the over. I'll, I'm going to think about this more. We're going to address this on Thursday as well, if you're listening <laughs> now. Um, and then, and uh, oh yeah, and then the final. So I'll, we'll talk a little bit about the final thing, and then we'll get out of here. Punxsutawney Phil. Let's talk about this scumbag liar. That imposter. He's a loser. He's a liar. He's, he's he needs term limits. Homie's a hundred. He's something. fat. We need term limits on Punxsutawney Phil. Um, <laughs> we need we need to just revamp the whole system. The the, the groundhog doesn't work. <laughs> the, the groundhog system doesn't work, okay? Mm. This lying scumbag loser, he's been stealing from America for years. He's stealing our time. He's stealing our money. How much government money is going into Punxsutawney Phil? Too much. To take care of this little fucker. He lives in a luxury stump. Is he paying property tax on that stump? Is, yeah, so. there's, there's punk, is Punxsutawney Phil subject to tax? I mean, is he, <laughs> I want to see, I want to see Punxsutawney Phil's taxes. He has see, tax exemption. Status. I think, I think we need to start, we need to start looking into his taxes. Um, his businesses, is he, is he properly reporting his, <laughs> did they his, raise his, his value salary? on his businesses? Did Congress I think vote Punxsutawney on Phil. another Punxsutawney, Punxsutawney Phil is a criminal. Phil? Chaotically intolerant is, we're ready to declare war on, on Punxsutawney Phil. Um, he's public enemy number one. <laughs> that fat tub of goo. Okay, he is he is representing everything wrong with America. America laughs at Punk's Tony Phil for being <laughs> for, for how fat he is. Okay, have you ever seen him? His fat it it it, it absorbs the hand that's holding him. Mm-hmm. I feel bad for the people of Punk's Tony. They are they are under the rule of a of a corrupt king in Punk's Tony Phil. He needs he needs dental work. Have you seen his teeth? That guy needs dental work. Why is he the face of Punxsutawney? The great city of Punxsutawney needs to stand up. They need to rise up against our corrupt politicians and Punxsutawneyville. 
our tax money is going to Punxsutawney Phil's braces. Can you... <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine you work a hard day's work, right? And Uncle Sam, um, Uncle, Punks, um, Uncle Phil, Uncle Punxsutawney Phil comes in and says, hey, you worked, let's let's say you worked eight hours today. You made, you made $100. But, I mean, that's a crazy low rate. If, you, if you're getting paid that low, just quit your job. You make $100 a day if you're working eight hours. But he's like, listen, I want $30 of that right now. That's going to my luxury. That's going to my luxury stump. It's going mm. to my braces. It's going to all the food that I eat. And I don't even exercise. The ice on my wrist. Care of my it's, and then it's going to go to my medical bills when when my obesity causes health issues for me. Okay? Punxsutawney Phil needs to be removed from office. This is disgusting. This is gross. Mm. I say we impeach Punxsutawney Phil right now. Uh, we need what, who, what animal, I mean, what power rank the animals that could be good to replace them. I think, I think those things, quokkas, you ever seen those? They, they're like mm -hmm. the happiest animal on earth. They look like mini kangaroos. They're awesome. You should get a bald eagle to come out of the stump. And if no, it sees eagle, its shadow, if it sees that's, its that's, shadow. It's not gimmicky. <laughs> bald eagle isn't gimmicky. Yeah, but it's america -y. I feel like we're disrespecting the ball of the eagle if we make him the new punks honey Phil. Like you can't it's it's like it's like the head coach of the Patriots. You can't follow up Bill Belichick. Right? Mm -hmm. It's impossible. You can't you can't cuz cuz punks honey Phil he has a legacy. Let's let's call it a legacy, okay? It's it's a fraudulent legacy, but it, he does have a legacy among millions of Americans. You can't replace Punxsutawney Phil, that gremlin, that scumbag, that liar, that cheater, with the American bald eagle, just the most majestic being on the planet. We have to go, you have to go just a little better than Phil, but you have to, you have to have something that's prepared for failure, okay? The quokka is the most exciting, he's the happiest animal, and even if he sucks, everyone will be okay. Everyone will be fine with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that rat bastard Punxsutawney Phil. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm also I'm pretty sure a groundhog only lives like six years, so I I wonder if it's a new one every single year, or if they groundhog lifespan in the wild groundhogs can live up to six years. What about in luxury stumps? They're reportedly, they're reported to live up to fourteen years. Oh, in, so... the, in their penthouse, they can live up to fourteen years. Yeah, Punk, Punxsutawney <laughs> Phil is now draining America's social security funds as well mm -hmm. with how long he lives. Yeah, that's, you know, they sh he should get his social security at five years old, but then he's, you know, running it up another nine years. <laughs> he's on he's Yeah, social on security it. is only supposed to last you another year to two years. <laughs> you know, at, at worst. I mean, that's at worst. If he's running this thing all the way up to 14... You're telling me he's retiring at 5 and then living on Social Security to 14. These these young groundhogs are not even going to be... They're working for Social Security. They're paying for Punxsutawney Phil's Social Security, mm -hmm. but they're not going to be able to reap the benefits of that mm -hmm. Social Security. This is ridiculous. We need to get Punxsutawney Phil out of there. Send him mm -hmm. into the wild and just let him... Let's see if he's a, if, let's see if he can really compete in this era. He hasn't even been in the wild. He, he's playing. He's playing against against plumbers right now. <laughs> the the, the real ones out. are out in the wild. Walking through the forest in his fur coat, ice on his wrist. <laughs> he has he has another groundhog's coat on his on him. Right now. That's what he's doing. He has the extra. He's soft. He's a bitch. Okay, <laughs> Punk Sonny Phil. He can't do anything now. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's got soft hands. And if you, if you're, if you're, listen, if you're defending Punk's Tony Phil, you're a bootlicker. You're, you're <laughs> have fun, have fun, you know, glazing them. Any, any Punk's Tony Phil glazers out here, you're not our friends. You're not with us. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're fighting for the people. We're fighting for the young groundhogs that have been grinding and grinding and they're just blocked off by this fat tub of goo. Mm -hmm. By the system. All right. Yeah. He's a, <laughs> he's a system groundhog. He, that's what he is. <laughs> that's exactly what he is. <laughs> he's in a, he's in a great system. He's been in a great system. I need a and why is it Phil? Somebody explain <laughs> to me. Can they can they do a new name? Punxsutawney we, Rob. Punxsutawney Punxsutawney uh Layton. Punxsutawney Layton. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get out of here. Um
Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, if you wait, it's actually up here. Wait, this way, this way. Um, if you get the chance, please share the trailer that's dropping, uh, mm -hmm. that dropped tonight. So, um, hopefully I hope I can get that thing out by five o'clock. I told some people it'd be out by five, but it's probably not gonna be out by five. Mm -hmm. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you on Thursday for the full Super Bowl preview with Michael. Whoa.